back. Welcome back to the Dreadful Whale and Dishonored 2. There is some funky music happening, and I just noticed actually that I don't have any outsider abilities right now. I don't even have a mana bar, which is interesting. But we do have some tea. Oh, I can't interact with it at all, which is really a shame. But I like this, so we're like collecting things from each of our missions. There's the syringe from when we saved Dr. Hypatia, and there's a head of a clockwork soldier from when we killed Kieran Jindosh in the last episode. Um, let's see, it doesn't look like there's anything else. There's a, an alarm clock that I can't interact with either. And there's a moth? Oh, I don't have anything. Delightful. Oh. Well, that's... I was gonna say this is different from the last time we entered the void, but, uh... Uh, this is... This is different from the last the time void, we were... But somehow different this time. In the ship. Now, I said in the last episode that I had a sneaking suspicion that maybe we would not see the outsider. And... It seems like maybe... Maybe I was right. What do I know? Surprised I can pull you into this place? The I was right. marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closer sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? Well, she did turn your father literally into stone, so obviously she's strong in the ways of the outsider. Whispers from the past. Yeah, see, this seems to be that whole thing I was talking about, about, like, legitimate heirs versus illegitimate heirs. So if you really are the daughter of Yuhorn Caldwin and a kitchen maid, doesn't that make you an illegitimate heir and therefore illegitimate to sit on the throne? <sighs> I'll never understand it. Jessamine and I played games in the tower, but at night I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the street with no place to sleep. I didn't bring it! Would you like to tell me who did? We were just playing. No, I mean, Jessie. Who is your account? It was her! Delilah's lying! She broke it! I still don't see how this makes you a legitimate ruler, Delilah. Please explain this to me. Mother and I saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. to 
know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. I mean, my mother did die when I was young, and I did spend a year in purgatory during the Rat Plague, being bounced around between different nobles. I lived in a brothel for a while, so I guess we're not that different, quite frankly. I don't know. Um, anyway, the dreadful whale. Meet with Megan Foster and Anton Sokolov to discuss the next steps in your effort to take down Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos. Yay. When I was young, the loyalist conspiracy that kidnapped me also took Anton Sokolov. They brought him to the pub where I was being held and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? Sokolov laughed at them. He taught me lessons and told me funny stories. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued he doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I thought he'd tell me the secret to defeating Delilah and saving the Empire. I'm not even sure he knows where he is. Oh. That's sad. He is getting old. Even in the void, if only I could do more. Oh, hey, Mom. That wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame, blame for Delilah's, Delilah's bitterness? So no. it's true. She's the one who orchestrated the coup. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. And I, I feel, feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. Does that mean that we're close to the end of the game? And also, does that mean that what she said is true? And that she is an illegitimate daughter of Emperor Yuhorn Caldwin, and that you did blame the breaking of a valuable object on her? Or is it like the outsider said? Now the truth gets twisted. Oh, nice. Got our laundry. Let's write in our travel log. Let's recap. Clockwork Mansion. Let's see. The Dreadful Whale, what a weird name. It's hard to sleep on this ship. Um, oh, okay, so that's all good. Sokolov is safe. I killed Kieran Jindosh for abducting Sokolov, for working with Delilah and Duke Abel for the part his clockwork soldiers played in the coup that took my throne, for the clockwork army the man was building. He may have been smart, but he wasn't invulnerable, not like Delilah. I imagine he was jealous of Sokolov, for good reason, I suppose. Who cured the rat plague? Who changed the world with, his, with machines fueled by whale oil? Once Esmond Roseboro discovered the liquid power trapped there, and his paintings. Genius isn't a word I use very often, but Sokolov deserves it. Speaking of the old goat, it is good to see him again, though he looks weaker than I expected, tired, and smaller than I remember. I hope that great mind of his is still working. Well, to be fair, he did go through quite a lot, Emily. <laughs> Delilah in the Void I dreamt of Delilah Copperspoon. No. This was more than a dream. I was in the void. Somehow, Delilah brought me there. I don't know if she was showing me the true past or a fabrication. She spoke of my grandfather, Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin. History says he was a man of honor who served his people. But Delilah showed me all his promises unfulfilled, all those easy lies. And she showed me my mother, Jessamine, as I never imagined her. Spoiled and petty, entitled. And finally, a great injustice. Delilah's mother dying in a debtor's prison. I have so many questions, but how do I sort the truth from the lies? How indeed. That's what we're gonna have to do, I guess.
Oh, we got our picture of Sokolov. Alright. Let's go check on things. Let's see if um, Dr. Hypatia. Well, of his age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. She seems to be feeling better. Still a little slow, but. Good to see you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, he'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I appreciate your thoughts on the matter, Alexandria. Huh. That poses, um, some interesting food for thought. Ooh, a letter from Lucia Pasteur. Dear Dr. Hypatia, I couldn't be happier about the news you gave me. The people here in Dust District desperately need someone like you. I understand that you cannot see patients in Adermeyer anymore, and that it's too dangerous to go back to your apartment. I'll arrange something. We'll find you a safe place to hide and give free consultations, as you suggested. I'll send word about it via the Miner's Family Committee and some friends I have at the Silver Spike newspaper. Welcome back to the city. Lucia Pasteur. Oh, that's good. She's getting ready to go back to her work of helping the miners. I support that. It doesn't look like there's a to-do list item today. I guess we should chat, and then we can look around. Chindos wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Emily did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. Aww. They knew you'd try me. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Hey guys. Yeah. Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak. But it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. It's the outsider powers. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of? Or what she's up to? Yeah, Megan, I, I, I do know about the outsider. Um, I know we haven't really talked about that, but uh, yeah. I, I actually do know about that. Temporary closure of the conservatory. Dear patrons, Due to an alarming increase in the mite population, and with the full knowledge and approval of Duke Abel himself, the Royal Conservatory the Royal Conservatory will remain closed for the foreseeable future. 
Our apologies. B. Ashworth, curator. Yes, yeah, so we read about that. Um, somebody talked about how, despite the fact that no exterminators have been called or anything like that. One of the more elaborate structures in Karnaka, closed to the public. More of the Duke's questionable rulership. It'll be good to see the Royal Conservatory, even if it's closed to the public. Mm, what do these notes say? What is the device Ashworth is building? Cancelled. Why is the Royal Conservatory closed to the public? There's a spark in your eyes. Something other than hate, which surprises me given all that's happened. Is that because... How, do, how would I see this, actually? Is that because I have low chaos? Meet me at the skiff when you want to set out for the Royal Conservatory. Got it. I mean, it looks like it's pretty far inland, so... I wonder, uh... I have trouble remembering my mother's face sometimes. But there might be some resemblance. Painted from memory. While trying to learn more about what the Duke of Sarkonos was up to, I began hearing a name I hadn't heard in almost two decades. Delilah Copperspoon. We painted together for a time, but her obsession with the occult and the Caldwin family took her out of my circles. But your obsession with the occult? I saw some of her paintings. Beautiful, but somehow sinister. You knew Delilah? All this time traveling with you and you never mentioned My that? past is none of your business. You don't own everything, Empress. Another life, another life. Megan came to Karnaka to reinvent herself. Maybe I did as well, but the Duke of Sarkonos had other ideas. Anton's diary. Started painting again. My thoughts dart here and there. I am at the whim of my aging brain. I smell an orange and it triggers a memory. All at once I am a boy back in school, suffering under the cruelty of Professor Oliphant. <laughs> Her horrible wig and the smell of old wool. The wool reminds me of my suits. I used to have them custom made. The suits remind me that I was once a man of position. Then, I am thinking of my own cruelties. Terrible deeds performed in the name of science, progress, or profit. And then I am flooded with regrets and guilt. Then, just as suddenly, I am hungry, or thinking about my knees, or a nap. And if I could quiet my mind and apply myself to a task, say, painting, like today, it is of little use. I find it odd that at a time when I thought I might enjoy some rest and expand on my paintings, that my eyes are not as sharp as they need to be, and my hands quiver unexpectedly. The smell of the paints assaults my nose and muddles my thoughts. Did they always smell so? Still, I have begun work on a canvas. I have no name for it yet. Oh, poor Anton. That's old age for you, I suppose. Good to see him back in his room. <laughs> Bloodfly infestation. Dear passengers, I'd like to offer my apologies for being such a grumpy captain. First to Anton, who I called a senile old goat when he decided to bring live blood flies aboard for study. Not a single day passes without me staring in delight at those little marvels of nature. Second, my apologies to whoever broke the blood fly tank, allowing them to flutter down to the engine room, bringing joy to this sad boat of mine, with the gentle humming of their soft wings. I deeply regret to call you- I deeply regret calling you a clumsy sack of guano. But now that we've all had time to enjoy their charming company, can someone please exterminate every last blood fly on my ship, Megan? 
Ah, so that's our ship task for the day. We can take care of that. That seems like a real safety hazard. Who broke the blood flies? There's only four people on this ship, to my knowledge. And it obviously wasn't Megan. And I don't think it was Anton. Trip to the market. Megan, I've thought of a few things I need when you go into Karnaka. I'd get them myself, but you know what it's like for these old bones to walk so far. I need a smaller shirt. Everything seems... Everything... Seems everything I own falls off me now. And you're right. I suppose I need some soap. And a good hair tonic. For my beard, and what's left around the sides of my skull. You like the Tivian stew I made last week, so if you'd like to have it again, get lamb if we can afford it. If not, don't worry. My appetite isn't what it used to be. A bit of bread and a few shrimp will get me through most days. But don't forget the wine. If that's not too much, I could use more paints. I'm out of cerulean, ochre, and ultramarine. Anton. Oh. Hmm. Nothing in the galley, but there is a massive fish. Did we catch that or buy that? Oh. No, that's the skiff. Okay, yeah. I assume the bloodfly infestation is down here. Is that it? Oh yeah, there it is. Have they not set up a nest? Looks like it should be something. Oh well. It doesn't look like things change a ton day to day on the ship, but there's a few things. We'll go pop up to the, the helm before we head down. Make sure there's nothing up here, nothing new. We usually get, like, Megan's journal up here, I think, so. Yeah. Bit of food. We'll leave that, I guess. Megan Foster's notebook. I've seen mean storm clouds gather, only to disperse in an hour's time. I've seen monstrous waves in the distance towering like high hills that were only a ripple by the time they reached the boat. Things aren't right. They never have been. But at least everything's held at the center for a long while. Now I worry all the time. For me, for Anton, for Anton, for everything I, for everything. I should quit, disappear again. Anyone else would, I think. Self-preservation is only natural. I could take my boat and go anywhere, be anybody, be nobody, nobody again. I'd like that. I've had many different lives. Could I start a new one now? How many more do I have left? I'm so tired. I wish I could sleep and wake up as somebody else. No, oh, poor Megan. Hmm. Dusky. I guess I should just assume that there's nothing new on the boat. There never seems to really be anything at the prow. Is that the right word? I'm not a boat person. At the front. <laughs> anyway, might as well just head on out. Megan. Oh, new travel log entry? Oh, nice. Okay, I dreamed of the void. Brianna Ashworth is my next target. Brianna Ashworth, I only know her by reputation. Born to the Dunwall aristocracy, she's a sculptor and the curator of the Royal Conservatory in Karnaka, one of Delilah's lieutenants, maybe her closest confidant. They share a taste for the occult, 
While being held, Sokolov overheard conversations about a strange device being constructed under Ashworth's supervision. The Oraculum. Something more convoluted than clockwork killing machines, but every bit as dangerous, no doubt. I think an after-hours visit to the conservatory will give me the answers I need. Pop in and clear off the floor. All right, Megan, let's go. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. Okay. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Sounds good to me. Yes, let's go. It's just not as cool as Corvo's mask. Oh well. The Royal Conservatory. While held captive, Anton Sokolov learned that the identity of one of Delilah's chief allies, Brianna Ashworth. An architect of the coup that took the throne in Dunwall, Ashworth is powerful and full of secrets. She's building a mysterious device for Delilah. Brianna Ashworth must be eliminated. I don't know where we'll go from here, quite frankly. I mean, I suspected that we would pay Brianna a visit. I think I've said as much in previous episodes, just based on the fact that her name keeps popping up, but... Nobody else's name really has been popping up other than Duke of Bell and Delilah. Could we really be getting that close? There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. This is gonna be like they will the be the real danger. The assassins? Who's gonna be like that? Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me. Ashworth is important to Delilah, which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Ooh. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. Now that is an interesting proposition. I would be willing to not kill her if it meant working with the Abbey of the Everyman. I don't know why, I just really want to work with the Overseers. Maybe because they were so um, against Corvo. <laughs> I like that I have the option of... Oh my god. I like that I have the option of working with them. Ren Ashworth may have records about what happened three years ago with the Lila Cover Spoon. Three years ago. What happened three years ago? I'm confused. Vice Overse Overseer Burns Outpost. I knocked him out, didn't I? <laughs> or was that just some guy in his office? Uh, he has a hidden outpost near the docks. He may have useful information. Okay. Let's see. Enter the Royal Conservatory. Uncover Ashworth's role. Find out what Burn 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 knows. I think it's Burn. I know they've said it. I'm just. So I don't want to look at my bone charms. Do I have? I don't have a ton. Okay. So we're good right now. Powers. Two rooms. Witchcrafting, lower chance of corruption. Might be worth it. Alright, well, we'll worry about that later. There's so much stuff. Oh my goodness. It all seems to be rather far away though, except for that. I guess we'll mark that. Um, anything over here? Syria Gardens. Money. Rewire tool. Money. Howler dust. What the hell's howler dust? Back. 
Okay. Sorry. But, um, what's going on? So, am I, am I not supposed to be here? No, I want you to go up. Here we go. Like, am I, is this, is this places I'm not supposed to be? Nobody's yelling at me yet. Ooh, there's a shop. The whole family stung to death. So disfigured. Blood flying nests all around them. Horror. Uh oh, the rune must be in the shop. Duh. They always have a rune. Okay, so you saw something? Where did you go? Wait, that sounded like Mindy, didn't it? I just want to go shopping. Welcome. Obviously, you are someone with refined tastes. Oh, yes. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. See anything you like? What does that mean? Y yes, I, I, I would... What a pleasant surprise to see you again. Again? Are you the same guy I bought from before? Okay. Magnetized bullets briefly disrupts clockwork soldiers. That seems useful. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Um... Reload speed... Hardened bolts. Oh, here we go. Uh, plus one magazine, pistol accuracy, pistol reload speed. Magnetized bullets. Oh, wow. I've really been... <laughs> I look forward to the day when I can reopen my gallery. Really been missing out. Um... Bone charm slots. That's good to know. Uh, bolt capacity. Bullet capacity. Folding blade. Grenades. Mines and spring razors. Exactly. Blood flies are worse here than any district in Kanaka. Mine that can be placed. And it used to be such uh, a prosperous district, too. Oh. That's cool. These kind of seem useful. Oops, I went too far. Take me back to <coughs> Paradise City. No, take me back to here. Uh, increasing bone charm slots and increasing lens optics both seem like they could be useful. Let's see. Um, why don't you show me your gear? Uh, bullets. Um, so some of the specialty bolts. I'm low on, and they're kind of hard to get. Grenades, done mine, spring razor, iron wire solution, that, that's fine. Safe combination. That could be it's useful. It's a pleasure to have such a unique young lady in our store. And the rune. So let's buy the rune. Let's buy the safe choice. combination. Uh, I kind of want to top up on these guys. It's going to be kind of expensive, though. And I'm already... <sighs> How much upgrading do I care? Mm. Alright, we'll do it. We'll, we'll top up on these. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. Okay, and then let's see what if any upgrades. Uh, let's see. I have some upgrade plans for your we gear. We can afford the magnetized bullets, which seems kind of cool. Or I can get... 
one, but not both of these. The magnetized bullet is 350, so I can get one thing. I can get refined optics. I'm gonna say no on the bone charms, because now that I've got bone charm crafting, it's a lot easier All those valuable for me to up carry in the conservatory where no one can see them. Truly a shame. So it's either the lens optics, which I do like. I think maybe I also am kind of hoping I'm not going to I'm probably not going to try and fight clockwork soldiers as a thing. All right, let's go with lens optics. Let's do that cuz I uh, I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. I'm sure I will be, too. Um, yeah. I don't want to fight the Clockwork Soldiers any more than I have to. It was a pleasure to serve So, you. let's, yeah. Okay. Welcome back. Please, take Sorry. it. Sorry. Uh, okay. So, abandoned lecture hall. There's a safe containing valuables, but there's a lot of blood flies. The shopkeeper's associate is holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Rana's records, Bryn's outpost. Yes, 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 thank you. Okay. Hi. So... I'm not supposed to be here. Oops. Into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few allies. God damn it. Maybe it's just a woman. Can I see that far? Oh, I can if you walk over here. You're not allowed in the shop, are you? supposed to get out without being spotted if they're gonna yell at me for opening the door there's nowhere for me to blink to or not blink but there's a well there's that can I this is gonna be such a tight angle <laughs> No, it doesn't want to let me up that high. Okay. Can I just, like, blink past? What up there? Give me that. There we go. Alright. And just for good measure, let's get up here. Okay, so conservatory burns information shopkeeper's associate. The shopkeeper's associate is really far away. Are we gonna knock this stuff over? Lord knows I've kicked enough trash cans. So there's a guy. Look sharp, she says. Stay awake, she says. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. She says. Who is she? Well, now I kind of want to know what's in this building. But... Oh, it's ultimately not that important, I suppose. Okay... Ooh. There's some piping, actually. Can I reach from here? There we go. Alright. Feels good to be back on a roof. I tell you what. What is going on? It's just like a dog losing its mind. Nice. 
Okay. This looks like Grand Guard personnel. That'll do. So, Burns information is here. But where? Where, where is here? Also, who is this dog and why is he losing his mind? Is that here? Damn, I thought I heard blood flies for a second. Oof. Let's see. Maybe I can creep along by this half wall. And Nope, that didn't work. Kind of dry. Um, you really go for a whiskey or something. Maybe one of them two penny drinks. Oh. Hello. Hello. Is there anybody else here? I am aware that dropping in in the manner that I did was, um, let's say bold. Resources. Um, yeah. Bold. That's, that's one word for it. Is he the only person in here? It looks like he's the only person in here. Also, isn't this Campbell? No one knows what's happened. Could be anything. I just gotta watch my own back. Why do we have pictures of Campbell? He was an asshole. There once was a man from old Lambro <laughs> whose cock was as big as a mill. He tugged on it nightly. Never so slightly, it grew to be large as a Oh my goodness. Is that how you get all of the ladies? Alright, I need to like... I don't need to. I would very much like to... Martha, won't you marry me? Twelve weeks have I been at sea. Oh. Chasing monsters in the brine, dancing hagfish on the brine. Martha, won't you marry me? Twelve weeks have I been. Here, why don't you sleep in the bed, my good friend? Um. Also, I love the dialogue. I love the new dialogue that they have. It's not just a, uh, shall we gather for <laughs> whiskey and cigars? Oracular order divided. Let's see. Uh, yes, we read this. This is about the, uh, the sister alert, order. The I order of alert. sisters. A precious urn. She says, yeah, but this time I really mean it. <laughs> Let's see. Table clock. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Note to Overseer. Overseer Ogburn. I should be back within a few days. Continue to compile information on Brianna Ashworth's activities. Despite the odd letter we received from our oracular sisters in Culero, it's not like them to issue a proclamation without certainty. But I know I'm right about Ashworth. My gut tells me she's a threat. That said, the Howlers are my priority. This conflict with Paolo could affect our influence in Karnaka for years to come. Yours in the strictures. Vice Overseer Liam Byrne. Fair enough. Alright, I think we got just about everything. So let's play this. Brianna Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth had some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. 
overseers of the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important to our assistance from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Yes. Uh, let's see, we've got On the Oracular Order by Douglas Harwickle, Historian. Much has been said about the blind sisters of the Oracular Order. In truth, their eyes function just as well as yours or mine. However, they do endeavor to become blind to distractions and frivolities. They will, if necessary, bids, if necessity bids them, walk amongst us. Wearing richly hued blindfolds or otherwise covering their eyes, in this way they remain at all times ready to see things clearly. Decisions are made during cloistered gatherings, though no others are permitted to observe. The process was described to me, so I render it here with permission. A room is prepared with heavy incense and blessings from the strictures. In a circle sit thirty or more sisters of our order, under the room, until the room is brimming. We will hear no topic lest we have each had adequate time to research. Several outcomes will be discussed, and some sisters are specifically tasked with advancing less popular or unlikely scenarios. It is not permitted to remain silent. Every voice must be heard. It may take some time to arrive at a decision, and by then all are quite versed in the myriad consequences and may have lengthy advice for all contingencies. When an opinion is written, it may be as short as a sentence, or fill twenty pages. Yet still one last sister must approve it, the High Oracle herself. Interesting. And so I noticed bad. that here seen the kids in two we years. have a little red web board and a map of the conservatory. So, first floor. We've got an entrance that leads to the lobby. The stairs to the lobby are over here. And there's an elevator here. Okay. Stairs. These stairs. Are very interesting. I don't. I don't actually see where these stairs go. Maybe I'm being really blind. I mean, I guess it could be these stairs here, but I don't think that lines up. I don't know. Well, this is also the lobby, and this is these stairs. Which makes me think that these stairs should be over here. But they also don't seem to go to the basement. Oh, no, here they do. Okay. I'm just blind. So in the basement, there's the delivery entrance and the archive and the elevator. Uh, let's see. On the second floor is the Roseboro prototype. And on the third floor is Curator Ashworth's office. And uh, nothing is on the fourth floor. I'm sure that's not true. What does the fourth floor look over, though, I wonder? Does it look over the entry? That would be interesting. Hmm. Well, it's good to have a map. Close my locker before coming out. <sighs> Last time I left it open, someone left a hagfish. Jacket like on. This. Bless you. Okay, well that's convenient. Look at that tree. That's a nice tree. Alright, so those guys are up there. I'm kind of curious about the shopkeeper's associate, but it's real far away. Uh, let's see, are we any closer to some of these things? We're getting there. It looks like that's the closest. It looks like they're all over there. Can we... Ooh. Really? Can't reach? We can get up there, though. 
Mm. Wall of light. Okay. No. The technical officer came by and said it was fine. He looked at the wall of light, then climbed up to check the windmill. All good. Why? Yesterday, the wind kicked up so hard I thought the windmill was going to fall apart. The wall of light was flickering and sparking like crazy. I've seen that too. But whale oil's expensive now, and the tanks run dry. The wind's unpredictable, but it's still better than a bunch of howlers running through the checkpoint and knifing us to death. Yeah, I see your point. <laughs> Oof. Okay. So, there's a windmill somewhere. Is it that one? Yes. But I'm also standing here. It says blood flies. I wonder. Uh, mission clues. Safe. Abandoned lecture hall. Oh, this doesn't seem like a lecture hall. I don't know. Uh, learn more about the oraculum. Rana Ashworth's office is on the top floor, overlooking the main hall. That's where you'll find her. Okay. Do, 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 do. Look at all these maps. Oh. I just realized, I think... Are there five more maps? Does that mean there's five more levels? Maybe. But not every level has a map, so... It's not necessarily a perfect system. This just goes out... to where... where it was. I'm trying not to get too distracted. Um, there's nothing in here, right? I mean, I'm sure there's resources, but I just want to see if this this doesn't seem to lead this way, because I'm trying to get past that wall of light. Let's go back up. All right. There is that over there, which is intriguing to me. Um, oh, and there's this. Now, what is that? Hmm. Because it doesn't look like we can go over top. I'm afraid that if I jump on that, I will slide. But there's that. And there's this. Getting so one can't even breathe no more. Courtyard gate key is needed. I don't suppose I can go over top of it, can I? Who needs keys? Not this girl. Let's get up there. Let's see what we can see. Ooh. There's a, a letter. Leave Karnaka. Rapolo. When you receive my letter, I want you to pack a bag promptly. Leave within the hour of reading this and stop worrying about all that terrible business in Karnaka. Stay with me in Sagunto for a month or two, and I'll feed you until you're fat. We'll have an excuse to shop once a week to get you nice things for lar in larger sizes. You know I bought a dozen of those fancy rugs from the weaver's market? If you'll join me at my tiny manor, we'll put them to good use. Christo. Hmm. Let's keep going. And 
someone found an officer's pistol in the gutter. They think something else happened. Maybe they went inside the conservatory. Look, Karnak is leaking people. We tell ourselves we're keeping it together, but everyone is afraid of what will happen when it really falls apart. Is this the lecture hall? I saw a big condemned. Oh no, this is the the thing. Where where is this lecture hall? I'm gonna have bought that. Just like I bought that key. All for naught. All for nothing. Alright, uh, let's see what's nearby. We'll try and collect what we can. Smells like piss. There's a corrupt a bone charm that way. We're not going that way. Ooh, there's a shrine though. That's worth it. And where is... The shopkeeper's associate is that way. Can I reach all the way? I guess we'll just go here first. Stay out here for now. Usually these places are empty, but I see a tripwire. If I disarm it, does that mean it's gonna shoot? No, okay. I think I see another one. Whispers from the void, we read that. Damn, there's a lot of tripwires. I just know I'm gonna miss one. That was closer than I thought it was. There's another one there. Howling bolt? What the hell is a howling bolt? Blinds enemies. Well, that would have been fun to walk into. these flowers. They're... they look like hydrangeas, actually. Alright, what do you got for me? Look at you, making your way across this shuddering city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated baker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk in fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But, just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that. Never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. Yeah. You're not wrong. Let's take a minute to look at some powers. I think... So we have five runes, which is quite a bit. I just want to go through real quick. So dark vision, see paths. I don't care about that. Um, mesmerize, I'm good. Doppelganger, I'm good. Far reach. Pull enemies. Eh. Domino, I don't think I need. 
Shadow Walk. I haven't used the Shadow Assassinate. Oh, the Shadow Run, though. I did want to get this. I'm just not even going to think about it. We're going to get Shadow Run. I want to use Shadow Walk more. I just, it's so slow. <laughs> Strength, I think we're good. Vitality, I think we're good. Reflexes. Ah. Focused slide, superior deflection, adept parry, snap reaction. Uh, agility, catfall, we got rapid sprint, bloodthirst, bone charm crafting, shadow kill. I do like shadow kill, but I think we're gonna upgrade bone charm crafting. Use the same trade up to four times. That also seems useful, but I think what's going to be more important is building better bone charms with a lower chance of corruption. So we're going to do that. Alright, I feel good about that. Those are the choices that I've made, and I will stand by them. And I will kick that bucket, apparently. Alright. Let's see if there's anything else worthwhile nearby. Uh, there's a bone charm maybe in that building. Let's go ahead and lock it and see. An entire shipment of whale oil tank just gone. Taken right from under Idiots. Their Idiots. It looks like it may just be. It looks like it may be in there, yes. Okay. Or it, it may not be. Private rooms. What is this place anyway? Charm. Blade bullet? Is that what that said? Blade ballet. Spring razors have a slight chance of eliminating a body. <laughs> Damn, okay. I don't think I need that one. I've literally never used a spring razor. Between the flies and the filth, it's getting hard to breathe around here. Oh, thanks, guys. There we go. Damn, he, um... He's really not doing anything to make himself more popular, is he? Should probably use an Adermeyer solution. Alright. So there's the conservatory, there's the shopkeeper's associate. There's a watchtower. Let's see, can I reach over there? There's an open door that I cannot close. So the question is, is it worth it to go and investigate the shopkeeper's associate? What do I know about the shopkeeper's associate? Wait, did I not? Oh, okay. I did. The black market shopkeeper in Syria Garden says his associate was recently operating out of an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. He'll pay me to find his missing associate. 
Pay me with what? Money? I can't reach the watchtower. The only reason I want to get on the watchtower is I think it would help me get to... Ooh, knock another caiman. Um, I think it would help me get to those lamps. Is there anything in here? So this, I think, is designed to get me in the watchtower. There's a, a door down there. So I can't get... I'm trying to get on top of those lamps, which I can't seem to do. does not like this. Oh boy. Whew. That was stressful. Wow, look at these trees! Oh my god, it's so cool. Alright. We'll pop in here real quick if I can. Because there's a bone charm. Whoops. Those around you cannot, you cannot see. see me. I, I am here and am not here when you call to me. Don't mind me. Just gonna walk by. What is this place? This place is cool. Took a little damage, but we got it. Clumsy assassin. Brief invisibility after choking or assassinating an enemy. You are l louder, making noise and more visible when leaning. Huh. That's interesting. This is a new clinic. Some of your questions trick your mind in the new taxes being levied. Oh, shice. Conservatory. What do those walls hide? The patron. The man who won't stop until he has turned every bit of this land silver into shiny coins. I asked him to double the number of mine workers, and he did. No questions, no complaints. Karnaka needed miners, and he produced them. Out of thin air. That's the Sirconic spirit. Uh, is it? <laughs> Hmm. Well, now what am I gonna do? I've come so far. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can reach that, and I don't particularly want to try my hand at jumping. That was weird. By the way, I d we didn't address that, but that was weird. There was... I guess that's what we're going to find in the conservatory, huh? So we're going to find... Occult people. I need to get there. Maybe I can get around the back? Let's try. Uh, it seemed like he had some kind of connection to the blood flies, which um, is fun. That's, um, super cute. Super cute look. Alright, I guess we'll just go down. Hi, rats. Um, hmm. Okay, so it doesn't look like this is a thing, actually. Yeah, okay. So, maybe I do have to be on the ground? But I know there's guards. 
What are these sounds? Oh, no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nope, nothing to see here. Ah! My bad. Think something no, moved. no, nothing moved. There's nothing here. I don't know what you think is here, but there's nothing here. I promise you. I can't see anything. This is going badly. Well, that didn't go great. That's what you think. Would you think that? Nah, not this time. Dead body. Oh, he tripped a tripwire. Okay. Am I out for tripwires, I guess? Well, that could have gone better. Hidden. I will give it that. You up for a beer, man? Blood flies. Like he's here. There's. Let me pick up the bone charm. I didn't mean to. Bitter blood. Bitter blood. Blood flies attack at slightly shorter distances closer to nests. Oh, that seems useful. Let's see. Um, what is this? You take less damage from falling. Let's go ahead and swap that out for now. Would have been useful a second ago. Opportunity. I have a new assignment for one with your unique talents. I'd like you to retrieve the old Roseboro prototype on display at the Royal Conservatory. It's likely well protected, but I'll double the finder's fee. Bring it back to me at the shop. MV. That seems like a hell of a... Uh, hell of a ask there, my guy. Let's see. Assist the shopkeeper. Acquire the Roseboro prototype. I mean, we'll see. We'll try. I'll make no promises. Well, we know it's on the second floor. Here. So. 
just in case we had forgotten. Ooh. Is there anything else in here? Just, uh, you know, before I leave. S and J, the stun mines I tried to pick up. Uh, let's see. There's one of those horn things. Oh, a scrimshaw. Anything else? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. And on the heart, it looks like most everything left is inside. Alright, let's see what this convenient little, uh, little walkway has for us. Because it looks to me an awful lot like a way to get in. Though there's also down there, which might be something. Roseboro prototype, Royal Conservatory. Rune or boon? Rune or boon charm? Is it that? Oh, it's that. Those are all inside. I just heard breaking glass. There's a blood fly. Ooh, there's an open window. Good to know. Let's just see what's over here. Oh, there's a wall of light. It's good to know. So, wait, what is what is this? What are, what is what is what what this? Is this not the Roseboro Institute? Is this not all part of that? Okay. The conservatory. I wanted to visit this place with Oh, your boyfriend? Are we gonna meet him? Oh, you see her. She wanted to raise the blood briar, but cannot. After trying to make greyhounds for weeks, she gave up. You should have seen the twisted things she made. All snouts and teeth and tails. That's just the way it is, dear Pomelia. Delilah wears the outsider's mark. And some, she can be traced down to us. That doesn't seem clear. Think about working your fingers raw, weaving nets, and raising cows to slaughter. Any of the gifts you receive is better than living under the boot. That's true and fine. A wise way to look at things. But it won't help Lucinda rise any higher in Delilah's favor. Oof. Alright, so I was correct then. That is a way in. So I just want to see if we can find our way into the front door. So, yeah. That's cool. So this looks like it is the entrance. Maps. Alright, map. Royal Conservatory. So we are, I think, on the second floor? Or maybe the third? I'm not certain. So this is the entrance, and I think we've come in here. And where we were, I think, was here. I think we came into this room from the window, and then walked in and now we're here possibly or possibly we're here but that looks like a floor that looks like a proper floor no i think we're in this section because i think this is the fourth floor this is what we were looking at so i think up there is that thing which Actually, that would mean we're on the third floor, wouldn't it? But no, because this is the entrance, so we've got to be on the second floor. Which means that that's the third and the fourth floor. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> but I think... We'll look around a little bit, and probably we'll end up going in through that window, which I think, like I said, I think was over here. 
but that is going to have to do it for us for this episode. We have made our way through the Syrian gardens. We uh, looked at quite a few things. We stopped in at the Overseer's secret watch post and learned a little bit more about Brianna. We investigated what the black market shopkeep wanted us to investigate, and we got another task to steal the Brosboro prototype, if that is something that we decide we want to do, and it is not too difficult. And we made our way into the Royal Conservatory. So next time, we will explore the Conservatory and deal with Brianna Ashworth. I am a little curious. It doesn't seem like there's a non-lethal way to deal with her, quite frankly. I imagine that's what the Overseer path will be. Like, if we can find proof that she's researching the occult, then the Overseers will arrest her or something like that. But thus far, all we've learned is that the Overseers think she's even more dangerous than... Or based on what the Overseers have learned, it seems like she's even more dangerous than we first thought. Which means she definitely has to be dealt with. So I'll be curious to know what the non-lethal is. And, you know, we'll decide next time if we want to do that. But until then, I hope you enjoyed the episode today, and I hope you look forward to exploring the Ro Royal Conservatory and figuring out what the Roseboro thing is and the oraculum. Maybe they're connected, who knows? And yeah, if you want to see how we deal with Brianna Ashworth, make sure to tune in for the next one if you have any thoughts on what we should do to deal with her. If you think we should go non-lethal, if you think we should go lethal, leave it in the comments, you know. I always want to hear your opinion. But until then, bye bye